when you look at the offense and their approach tonight, um, it's all the way up to the end. What did, how would you evaluate it? Uh, their offense? Your offense. Oh, our offense. Um, I thought we did a really, obviously we did a really good job against Bassett. Um, I just thought we ran into Wendokin and, and Puck are, had pretty good arms, you know, and, and Puck we haven't seen. The lack of familiarity, I think, kind of got us. He went, you know, maybe one time through a couple of innings, but, you know, Wendelkin, he's got a good arm. Um, he executed some pitches, and um, after that, you know, we obviously put pressure on training in the ninth, but at that point, we're down by seven. Um, so, overall, I thought it, it was decent. I know, it, you know, from the fourth to the eighth, we went 15 up, 15 down, but, um, like I said, part of that had to do with lack of familiarity, and, you know, Wendelkin actually threw the ball pretty good. Young pitchers have shown some bright spots this year, but obviously kids like that are going to have their rough nights, especially when you're facing you-know-who. What was going on with those kids tonight, especially Brock? Uh, I've never seen it. So they had 12 two-out runs, um, and that's something that, you know, you know, we walked the leadoff hitter, I think, three times, and all three times they scored. So um, that's kind of a big no-no, and a couple of times that came after we scored. And, you know, we got back in the game, we scored four, we scored three, and both times we walked the leadoff hitter. So um, you're asking for trouble when you do that. And I think I just, you know, I went back and looked at some of the pitches. It's just, it's just lack of execution. Um, you know, we have a, a chance to end an inning. You know, we got to make them beat us um, with a quality pitch. And we left some balls in the middle of the plate, probably some pitches we shouldn't have thrown to certain hitters um, in the middle of the plate. And, you know, they made us pay. With two outs, 12 runs, I don't think I've ever seen that. So, you know, it sucks because we're obviously on the losing end of that. For Ronald Guzman, you, you've said over and over again you want to see offensively back to what he was before he was hurt in the beginning of the year. And since he's been called up, there's the production has been there. Are you seeing that as far as – plate by plate appearance? Uh, yeah, it's been better. It's, it was better than, you know, obviously before we sent him down. Um, I'd still like to see a little bit more consistency, I guess, with the swings. But yeah, I mean, he's been productive for us. Um, he's battling. You know, I know he's uh, he goes up there and he doesn't take a pitch off. Um, but I know he's been working on a, a lot of things from a swing standpoint. And, you know, like he, he's going up there and giving us quality of bats. Um, got a big hit today for us, you know, with that double. Stayed through a, a big slow breaking ball. And, you know, he's competing out there, and that's obviously what we want to see. I'm just curious, because you don't do this very often, but the intentional walk, I'm just curious. What, what, um, it was more of the 3-0 count. I didn't want him fighting back. You know, if, if a guy gets – with Chabot, I don't – I didn't want him to maybe challenge Simeon in that situation and, and get burned by it. Um, you know, with a guy like Kelly, an older guy, I trust, you know, that he's going to – kind of like what he did to Olsen. Obviously, Olsen's at bat was a good chance to say, hey, just put him at first. You know, when a guy has a little bit more experience, I trust the fact that they're going to either pitch around him or make them hit their pitch. You know, and I just, once Jabot got 3 0, I figured it doesn't make any sense to try to have him climb back in the count and give him a fastball to hit. In that same line, in that same line, Burke got 3 1 on Davis. Guzman got 3 1 on Davis. No, Davis isn't quite the hitter that Marcus Simeon is. <laughs> I don't know if you looked at Simeon's numbers against us and in the league in general. So it, he's killed us, absolutely killed us. And I know Davis has in the past, but Davis is nowhere near the hitter that Simeon is right now. Um, he just challenged him, you know, Davis in a pitch down in the, in the zone that obviously he hit out. But um, I felt that, you know, that matchup wasn't as bad. We just got to be, we got to be a little bit more careful in the strike zone right there. We can't give him a 3-1 fastball down the middle. Hey.